A modern history, the Vietnam War, was one of the most significant conflicts of the 20th century. It lasted for over a decade and claimed the lives of millions of people. But what were the roots of this conflict? How did it start? Archive footage of Vietnam in the 1950s and 1960s, including images of the countryside, cities and people. To understand the Vietnam War, we need to go back to the early 20th century when Vietnam was still a French colony. The Vietnamese people had been fighting for their independence for decades, and in 1954 they finally succeeded in defeating the French at the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. Archive footage of the Battle of Dien Bien Phu The victory at Dien Bien Phu led to the Geneva Accords, which divided Vietnam into two parts, the Communist North and the Non-Communist South. The agreement also called for a nationwide election to be held in 1956 to reunify the country. A map of Vietnam showing the division between North and South. However, the United States and its allies in the South feared that the communist leader Ho Chi Minh would win the election and they refused to hold it. Instead, they supported a non-communist government in the South led by Eng Jo Dinh Diem. Archive footage of Eng Go Dinh Diem and his government. Diem's government was corrupt and unpopular, and the Viet Cong, a communist guerrilla group, began to gain support in the South. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy sent military advisors to help the South Vietnamese government fight the Viet Cong. Archive footage of President Kennedy and American military advisors in Vietnam. The situation in Vietnam continued to deteriorate, and in 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson authorized the use of American combat troops in Vietnam. Archive footage of American troops arriving in Vietnam. The Vietnam War had begun, and it would last for over a decade, claiming the lives of millions of people and changing the course of history. Archive footage of the Vietnam War, including combat footage, protests, and anti-war demonstrations. As the Vietnam War entered its second phase, the conflict escalated and intensified. Both sides became more deeply entrenched, and the war began to take a heavy toll on the people and the land. Archive footage of intense combat, bombings, and destruction in Vietnam. The United States, determined to prevent the spread of communism, increased its military presence in Vietnam. By 1968, there were over half a million American troops deployed in the country. Archive footage of American troops in Vietnam including soldiers on patrol and engaging in combat. The North Vietnamese, supported by the Soviet Union and China, fought a guerrilla war against the American forces. They used tactics such as ambushes, booby traps and underground tunnels to counter the superior firepower of the United States. Archive footage of North Vietnamese soldiers in action, including ambushes and tunnel system. The war became increasingly brutal, with both sides committing atrocities and civilians caught in the crossfire. The American military employed tactics such as carpet bombing and the use of chemical agents like Agent Orange to destroy the enemy's infrastructure and crops. Archive footage of bombings, chemical spraying and the aftermath of destruction. The Vietnam War also had a profound impact on the home front. In the United States, Opposition to the war grew and protests erupted across the country. The anti-war movement gained momentum with activists calling for an end to the conflict and the withdrawal of American troops. Archive footage of anti-war protests, including demonstrations, marches and clashes with law enforcement. The Tet Offensive in 1968 marked a turning point in the war. The North Vietnamese and Viet Cong launched a series of coordinated attacks on cities and military installations throughout South Vietnam. Although the offensive was eventually repelled, it shattered the American public's confidence in the war effort. Archive footage of the Tet Offensive, including battles and aftermath, the Tet Offensive also revealed the gap between the optimistic assessments of progress given by the U.S. government and the harsh realities on the ground. It became clear that victory in Vietnam would not come easily or quickly.
Archive footage of government officials giving optimistic statements contrasted with scenes of the war's devastation. The Vietnam War continued to drag on, with no clear end in sight. The human cost of the conflict was staggering, with millions of Vietnamese civilians and soldiers losing their lives, along with tens of thousands of American troops. Archive footage of casualties, wounded soldiers and grieving families. By the early 1970s, the Vietnam War had become increasingly unpopular in the United States. The anti-war movement had grown in strength and many Americans were calling for an end to the conflict. Archive footage of anti-war protests, including demonstrations, marches and clashes with law enforcement. In 1973, the United States signed the Paris Peace Accords, which called for a ceasefire and the withdrawal of American troops from Vietnam. Archive footage of the Paris Peace Accord signing ceremony. The last American troops left Vietnam in 1975, and the North Vietnamese quickly overran the South. The Vietnam War was over, but its legacy would be felt for years to come. Archive footage of the fall of Saigon and the end of the war. The Vietnam War had been a costly and divisive conflict, both for the United States and for Vietnam. It had claimed the lives of millions of people and left the country in ruins. Archive footage of the war's aftermath, including destroyed buildings, refugees and displaced people. The war had also changed the way Americans thought about their government and their place in the world. The Watergate scandal, which had begun during the Nixon administration, had eroded public trust in the government and its leaders. Archive footage of the Watergate scandal and its aftermath. The Vietnam War had also led to a rethinking of American foreign policy. The doctrine of containment which had guided us, policy since the end of World War I, was called into question. The United States began to focus more on diplomacy and engagement with other countries, rather than simply relying on military force. Archive footage of diplomatic efforts and international relations. The Vietnam War had also had a profound impact on the Vietnamese people. The country was left in ruins and the communist government that took power after the war was repressive and authoritarian. Archive footage of post-war Vietnam, including the rebuilding of the country and the new government. The legacy of the Vietnam War is complex and multifaceted. It was a conflict that shaped the course of history and left an indelible mark on the world. Archive footage of the war's impact and legacy, including memorials and remembrances.